Greetings, everyone. Uh, we're here with Lisa Weiner, uh, who's written a marvelous book on narrative healing and is um, producing a conference at Omega Institute on uh, stories of the ancestors. And we're, of course, hoping that all of you who watch this will come. But why do we care about the stories of our ancestors? And I, I think it's because they live within us, whether we know it or not. And we might as well know the stories so we can understand some of our unconscious reactions to events and triggers in our lives and know that they don't necessarily come from us. They may come from our ancestors. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think there's two really important examples of this. One is North American with the trauma that indigenous North Americans experienced with residential schools and genocide and massacres and um, just terrible trauma that that reaches back generations. And uh, I work with a lot of those people in Maine, and it's just overwhelming the trauma that they've that's been passed on to them. And I think the other area that we can all appreciate is the Holocaust. And I've also worked with so many clients who were not in the Holocaust, but whose parents or grandparents were, and their bodies are reacting as if they're, they were there, and they don't know why. And so by becoming aware of these stories, we can change them. We can we can alter our epigenetic transmission, the way that our ancestors have sent their life stories into our DNA, and we can change it. And we can change, when we change our epigenetics, we change the illnesses to which we're susceptible and we can become healthier. And that's my take on it. And what's yours, Lisa? Thanks, Lewis, and hi, everyone. Um, I could just listen to you talk about this forever. You know, that's, I think what really brought me to, to one, one of the drivers in creating this program, which is October 18th through the 20th at Omega Campus featuring uh, Lewis Mel Madrona, as well as Jamia Wilson, Kim Tai, and Maude Newton and myself, is this very present and growing question or query I, I live with and think about, um, you know, with everyone I work with and increasingly like everything that I, I look at is, you know, how can we know who we are if we don't know where we're from? Or how can we know our own stories if we don't know the stories that were told to us? And for, for so many of us, including the, the populations, you know, you named in addition to definitely African-Americans in this country and, and so many others, our histories are not available to us. They were either erased or changed or, you know, people have died out or whatever it is. We, we can't actually like look it up and know for certain what our ancestral stories are, but our body memory map knows and our ancestral stories live within us. And one of my, my goals here by bringing you and other teachers is to offer an array of methods of connecting with these stories so that we can better know not only who, who we are and where we're from, but better interpret those around us and connect with our, our commonalities. Um, so I thought it was a really kind of exciting and unifying way of looking at uh, sameness and difference through a lot of different uh, viewpoints. And so people coming will have the opportunity to try different flavors of, of trying these connections, both to know their own story and also access not just the, the memory of, of trauma, but also memory of great resilience and creative um, prowess that is also within you that you might, you might not really know about or know that you know about, but other ways of sort of opening up that channel is my hope. So um, visit the Omega Institute website. Visit Lisa's website, yeah, Coyote Institute's website, which will take you to Omega's website to sign up. 
And we hope to see you in Rhinebeck. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs>